Okay, uh, functional tie reading one or tell. Um, the purpose in this series on functional tie reading is to give the uh, student of tie, not the serious student, but uh, one who's just starting out and needs some functional tie to work with and perhaps doesn't have time to attend a class uh, or money. So you can come online for a free course like this and uh, pick up a word or two and uh, learn how to uh, write it, learn how to um, sound the word from the consonants and vowels that it's made up of, and then when you're on the road and you're actually, say, looking for a hotel, how to spot one and by reading Thai, by learning to uh, recognize what words are associated with the word hotel. Okay, the word hotel in Thai, if we write it phonetically, it's R-O-N-G-R-A-E-M. Compound noun, two words. Rong Ram. Um, the meaning of uh, Rong in Thai is a place to keep uh, things or for people to go to. So uh, Rong Rian is a school, Rong Rian school. So Rong Ram, uh, a place, and Ram, uh, one definition of Ram is overnight. So a place to stay overnight, hotel, or own gram. So in Thai, when we write uh, Thai language here, the word rong is start out with a loop at the bottom, loop at the bottom and come up, back, and then look over here. This is the O sound in rong. Next to that, you have a consonant, rogruda, Ro, now it's Ro, and then Rong, NG sound, Rong, 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 Ram, Rong, and then Ram, you do the A eh sound first. Two loops straight up, two loops straight up, two loops straight up, and Ro again, and Ma Ma, okay, Rong, Ram, Rong, Ram. So the word is loop, straight up, back, over, rong, 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 ram, r, a, raw, again, and then a loop up here actually, ma, okay, rong, ram. So use this uh, video material here. Uh, to assist the posted sheet uh, that appears now in the PDF form with a couple of uh, photographs of hotel signs here in Thailand. So what you should be able to do now, if you uh, practice this a few times and actually go out and, and look at a sign for a hotel, and it says, you can say hotel on it perhaps, but it'll also say in Thai, Rong Ram, Rong Ram. So I start looking at these things and associating the spelling, the word order, the arrangement of the vowels and the consonants with the word. Now as far as uh, for the grammarian among you, um, let me underline the uh, vowels first. O, O, and A, A, O. Long O sound and A, A, E. Okay. Consonants. Ra, Ra, not La, Le. A lot of uh, foreigners, unfortunately, are picking up uh, too much of the Thai practice of mixing the L's and the R's. That uh, reminds me of a joke. Uh, David Carradine was asked one time, uh, what's the difference between uh, Japanese and Chinese? And he says, one can uh, pronounce, uh, can't pronounce L, and the other can't pronounce R. So there you go, L and R. So this is the R consonant. This here is a NG. N. Okay. Same as the word singing. N. N. 
and uh, Mongu, which means Ma snake. And again, we go back over to our vowel, A, Sara A, and another Ra Ruda, R sound, and this M here, Ma Ma, which is uh, Ma for horse, Ma Ma. So again, one more time, we'll go over this, how to form the word Rongram and to read it. So, look up, back, over, look, up, back, over, over, look, down, hook, look up, look up, look up, back, over, look, down, loop, right, up. Okay, go ram. So go ahead, uh, refer this video to the uh, material that's online now in PDF form, and uh, let me know if you can, uh, whether this has been beneficial for you or not, and any other words you'd like to uh, see done this way. Uh, the other thing that we're doing here in uh, functional tie series is that um, if you're going to learn Thai language, I'm of the old school uh, as far as my own language is concerned, English. And if you're going to understand your own language, you have to understand some of the definitions of words. For example, uh, take uh, the English word chair. Uh, what is a chair? You can define a chair as a uh, chair is a, uh, a place to sit. It can be a cushion or hard surface. It usually has legs suspended off the floor. Now. You can go on and on in English about this, but if you're really going to get fluent in Thai and understand uh, also what uh, Thai words mean, then it's really a good thing to go ahead and to refer to a dictionary on a lot of stuff, but then you're going to have to learn how to read a lot more than you do now, perhaps. Uh, we'll get into reading uh, for more advanced uh, readers later on, but for now, let's just start with some functional Thai reading for beginners. People that, uh, you know, you really should have more confidence in yourself. I know the Thai uh, script out there looks pretty difficult, it is, uh, but it's, it's not. Once you pick it up, I think you'll be glad you learned it because it'll help you pronounce words the way they should be pronounced. And sometimes you'll um, find out that the way they're written is not the way they're pronounced. We'll get into these exceptions which occur in any language in the world later on as well. So please let me know on write a word, W-R-I-T-E-A-W-R-D, write a word at yahoo.com. If you have any questions, suggestions, or would like to send a note of praise and a check for $500,000 or something like that. Okay, good luck and uh, thank you for tuning in on this.